all right today i'm checking out another patreon request to my current patrons thank you so much for the support this is a patreon request it's called goodwill hunting 1997 never watched it have no idea what it's about it was just requested to me i leave the link for patreon in the description section full length reaction will be there in case you want to watch the whole two hours with me <laughs> and uh without further ado let's go Oh yeah, it has Robin Williams and Matt Damon because I saw it on the poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing I know about this movie. Make sure to smash like and subscribe. <clears throat> if you, uh, it has Ben Affleck. Oh my goodness, this is going to be awesome. Look at that young Ben Affleck. Oh my god. Matt Damon, uh, he hasn't changed so much, but look at Ben Affleck. I mean, me, me, I know Ben Affleck as like Batman, you know. Uh, from, the, from the Batman v Superman movie, you know. Uh, when I picture Ben Affleck, that's what I picture, that Batman. Genuinely do not think that Matt Damon would be the janitor in this movie. This is correct. Who did this? The janitor. It wasn't me. It was the janitor. No, no way. Are you gonna be an asshole? What am I? <laughs> fucking sandwich welfare? I think you should establish. They cast so much, my god. I like how you bought your couch. Payment <laughs> plans. They cast so much. Every day for a year, she finally got a couch, Renaissance style. Can I know my food now, please? Here's your fucking double burger. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much cursing, my god. Remember we went to kindergarten together. <laughs> nice! Nice, nice, nice. It takes a lot of guts to go like fight the guy who used to bully you in high school or something or, or primary or whatever. It takes a lot of guts. <laughs> Damn. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. You you don't have to kill him. Hey, what's up, fellas? Thanks for coming. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Come on. I have genuinely never seen that happen. Like, police come and break up two kids who are fighting or something. Oh, I'm assuming. Oh, he's a janitor, so he's probably a grown man. Has grown considerably. Well, by no stretch of my imagination do I believe you've all come here to hear me lecture, or rather to ascertain the identity of the mystery math magician. So, without further ado, come forward, Silent Rogue, and receive thy prize. I'm assuming nobody's gonna do anything because nobody knows who it is. I'm sorry to disappoint my spectators, but it seems there will be no unmasking here today. How old is Matt Damon's character here? Because he works as a janitor, meaning that he's not below 18. But they look like kids, you know. So he's what, 19 maybe? He's just there solving this stuff and then disappearing. some insight into the evolution of the market economy in the southern colonies my contention is that uh... oh boy oh boy you don't have to do that to him man colonies could most aptly be characterized as agrarian pre capital all right of course that's your Hang contention on a you're a first year grad student you just got finished reading some moxian historian pete garrison probably you're gonna be convinced of that till next month when you get to james lemon then you're gonna be talking about how the economies of virginia and pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 17. wow okay nerds nerds everywhere you know the pre-revolutionary utopia and the capital forming effects of military mobilization Capital what now? 
fact, I won't because Wood drastically underestimates the impact Wood of social distinctions. Wood drastically underestimates the impact of social distinctions predicated upon wealth, especially inherited wealth. You Are you an encyclopedia boy? County, page 98, right? Yeah. What? Were you going to plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of, of your own on this matter? What? Or do you, is that your thing? You come into a bar, you read some obscure passage, and then pretend you, you pawn it off as your own? But, I mean, if you have a problem like that, I mean, we can just step outside. We can... Oh, my God, bro. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, cool. He will solve things with his mind and then also with his fists. There's my number. So maybe uh, we can go out for coffee sometime. Uh, she waited for him, then literally just came served up her number. That's what happens when you're smart. Eh? The movie's trying to tell you something. Girls love nerds. <laughs> I've been sitting here for 10 minutes now looking over this rap sheet of yours. I just can't believe it. June 93, assault. September 93, assault. Grand theft, auto, February 94. Where apparently you defended yourself. <laughs> oh, boy. Mayhem, theft, resisting, all overturned. I'm also aware that you've been through several foster homes. I can't believe that he goes to court and defends himself as his own lawyer. Wow. Is that how he reads? He like has a photographic memory where he just looks at a page and boom, boom, boom. Your book and uh, and and Mike was having the same problems that Chad, the stockbroker, was having. Absolutely right. Right on the button. Good for you, Will. Very nice. I haven't even got time to tell you. Much less talk to that raving loony in there. An absolute lunatic here. <laughs> An absolute lunatic he is. <laughs> One century, your therapist is really like, this guy is too much. I'm, I'm going to just leave him be. We start dancing. The dancing is beautiful. Because we can make a lot of love before the sun goes down. I knew it. I knew he's fucking with this guy. <laughs> He's just messing with the therapist. Come on. Hey, hey <laughs> afternoon delight, sky rock. <laughs> As if you expect therapy to actually go anywhere with this guy. Yeah, exactly. Hey, afternoon delight. Come on, one dance. You, you really hypnotized me, you know. <laughs> just making a fool of the therapist. Look into my eye. Get out, Wills. I don't need therapy. There's no point for them being in therapy. I mean, hey, if they don't trust you, you know, I'm never gonna get them to sleep with you. That should be the goal of any good therapist. Nail them while they're vulnerable. That's my motto. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, my God. Hey, Jerry. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we're Robin Williams was so funny. I feel so bad that he passed. I hope you smash like, by the way, and subscribe if you're enjoying this reaction commentary. You paint that? Yeah. You paint? Mm-mm. Do you sculpt? No. You like art? You like music? It's a real piece of shit. Oh. That wasn't very necessary. I think you're about one step away from cutting your fucking ear off. Really? Oh, yeah. That's a uh, what? That's a, that's a Van Gogh, yeah. That's a Van Gogh reference. You married the wrong woman. Will's character has a bit of, like, arrogance because he's so intelligent, yeah? So he has a bit of, like, arrogance. Yeah, you see? He's about to get hit in the face. Yeah. Listen to me, little Disrespect prick. Disrespect my wife again. Yeah. I will end you. I will yep. fucking end you. Got the chief. Time's up. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like trying to buy time to just to waste your time, get under your nerves so that you never see him again. That's what he's trying to do. Right now? No. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I got some of your pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe that actually happened. She must really like him. She must really like him. You don't know about real loss. Because it only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. I doubt you've ever dared to love anybody that much. I look at you. I don't see an intelligent, confident man. I see a cocky, scared, shitless kid. No, that's what I said. He's very arrogant and it's very annoying. Hmm. Yeah. Unless you want to talk about you, who you are, then I'm fascinated. I'm in. I love how the movie like has Robin Williams' character, has Robin Williams' character as like the person who knows what life is through experience. And then Will, who pretends to know what life is all about through books, yeah? You move, Chief. And also, like... It also shows, like, the difference in knowledge between generations due to experience. You know, like, how a mother and daughter, or how a father and son can end up arguing because they think they both understand the same thing, but in different ways. One understands it because of experience they have, the other understands it because of Maybe social media, the internet, you know. I feel like it's an. I feel like it's a. Should I say allegory or symbolism for that? Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, this girl is like fucking perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. Maybe you're perfect right now. Maybe you don't want to ruin that. But I think that's a super philosophy. Well, that way you can go through your entire life without ever having to really know anybody. I think that's what this movie is all about. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. She <laughs> fart in her sleep. <laughs> Sorry, I shared that with you. One night it was so loud it woke the dog up. <laughs> she woke up and got like, oh, is that you? See, I didn't have the heart to tell <laughs> Oh, God. She, she woke herself up. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> ah, but Will, she's been dead two years, and that's the shit I remember. Do I? Yeah, they're my brothers. What are they called? Marky, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. Say it again. Marky, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. Imagine having 12 older brothers, God. Like the disciples over here. Jacob's children or something. <laughs> Fucking friends of yours, they let you get away with that? If I had to. Wait, what, what did you say to him? Just slid my ticket across the table and I said, sorry guys, I gotta see about a girl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you said? I had And they let you get away with that? Oh yeah, they saw in my eyes that I meant it. They are sharing some powerful life experiences here. Like you see, even no matter, no matter, no matter, no matter how much will would have like read all that stuff in a book, like listening to the experiences is a much different thing, you know. What would you like? Patty's like, God, she and Mary, that's a very sweet offer. Now, <clears throat> in 50 years, there's one thing that- The impression of, the impression of her Scottish, is it Scottish or Irish? Give me a blowjob. <laughs> I would like it. And Mary's like, all right. She takes the teeth out, puts <laughs> Okay. Because Paddy's like, oh, now that's what I've been missing. That was the most beautiful, earth shattering thing ever. <laughs> I love you. Is there anything that I can do for you? And Mary looks up at him and she goes, Do it for gifts. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> Damn, this girl is dirty. <laughs> this girl is dirty. <laughs> Off of me. Oh, her Irish, was it Irish or Scottish accent is just on point. That impression is on point. I'm fine, Sean, I'm not sitting at home every night twisting my mustache and hatching a, hatching a plan to ruin this boy's life. <laughs> I'm not sitting at home twisting my mustache. Ooh. Fields medal. Well, maybe he doesn't want what you want. There's more to life than a fucking Fields medal. This is too important, Sean. I think that's the message of this movie. 
There's more to life than just academia all the time. Time to figure out what he wants. That's a wonderful theory, Sean. It worked wonders for you, didn't it? Oh. Fucking prick. Well, I'm sorry. Let me ask you a question. All right. Do you have a photographic memory? He does. 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 Most incredibly intelligent people have a photographic memory. They just look at something and boom. Fun. Yeah, for kids. Yeah, it's so much fun studying organic chemistry. Are you mad? <laughs> Why? Why won't you come? What are you so scared of? What am I so scared of? You'll discover who he really is. Scared of. You live in this safe little world where no one challenges you and you're scared. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fling with like the guy from the other side of town. Then you're gonna go off to Stanford. You're gonna marry some rich prick who your parents will approve. You see now it's playing in his head how everything will go wrong. Because I want to help you. Because I help want to me? be with you. Fuck! What do I got? A fucking sign on my back? He's so guarded. Yeah, he's so guarded. When he's asked to show just a little bit of vulnerability, he just, he just. Help me! I love you. When anyone tries to make him just show a little bit of vulnerability, he's like, get away, get away, get away, get away. He has lived his entire life like that. Then I won't call you. And I won't be in your life. I don't love you. Oh. He spent his entire time telling... Uh, Robin Williamson's character. Oh, she's the perfect girl. Blah 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 blah. blah. And now she confesses. You know, she just like puts her. You know, she just puts herself like right in front of him, and he's like, "Fuck this! It's too perfect. I don't want it. It's too perfect. I'm imperfect. No, I don't deserve it." And I'm sorry you can't do this. I really am because I wouldn't have to fucking sit here and watch you fumble around and fuck it up. And you'd have more time to sit around and get drunk instead, wouldn't you? You're right. This is probably a total waste of my time. I knew it! I knew he was setting it on fire. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, no. There's... No, no. Just leave it be. Just leave it be. I actually thought when I had the, the lighters, I thought he was lighting up a cigarette, but I knew it. He was burning the paper. I can't do this, bro. I didn't have to watch you throw it all away. Well, life is like that sometimes. Some people can have a gift that you desire so much and you just watch them squander it away. It just happens like that. Have you smashed like, by the way, and subscribe? This is a great movie. I didn't even expect that it would be like this, but... It's really good. Why did you sneak around at night and finish other people's formulas that only one or two people in the world could do and then lie about? It's a good question. Very good question. Time's not up yet. Yeah, it I'm is. not leaving, no. Listen, you're not going to answer my question. <laughs> For once, he doesn't want to leave. Playtime's over, okay? Well, why are you kicking me out, Sean? I mean, what? I mean, you're lecturing me on life? Look at you, you fucking burnout. Oh, what do you want to do? Will's issue is that he just lives life like, I might lose, you know, I might lose this, I might lose that. Probably, probably it's because of his upbringing, yeah? Because he was an orphan. Great answer. Good. But he lives life like, I can't do this because I'm afraid it might slip away. See you, Bo And his fear of it, <laughs> see, I see a Bo Peep. <laughs> That's a Toy Story reference. You're the shepherd. <laughs> and he lives his life like, I can't try this because it might, it, it might, it might end up wrongly, and that's like the worst way to live life. I just wanted, to, you know. I won't do it anyway because it'll end up badly. So you end up doing nothing anyway. Taking all these uh, job interviews and stuff, so I'm not gonna be just a construction worker. Well, you know, I never really cared about that. Oh, they are still on talking terms. Despite him being a dick about everything. I love you. Oh, she's still waiting for him to say it back. Well. 
I gotta go. Take care. <laughs> cold hearted man, cold. Cold, G. Cold hearted man. I'm gonna fucking live here the rest of my life. You know, we'll be neighbors, you know, we'll have little kids, fucking take them a little league together up Foley Field. Will just wants a simple life. He wants a good life. So he's good will hunting. <laughs> Coming over to my house to watch the Patriots game, I'm still working construction, I'll fucking kill you. That's not a threat, Why? that's a fact. I'll fucking kill you. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, his friend feels like he's throwing away the potential of all his intelligence. Yeah, mm hmm. Yeah. Fuck you. You don't owe it to yourself. You owe it to me. You know what the best part of my day is? It's for about 10 seconds from when I pull up to the curb and when I get to your door. Because I think maybe I'll get up there and I'll knock on the door and you won't be there. No goodbye, no see you later, no nothing. I'm just left. He pushes people away before they have a chance to leave him. Yes, mm-hmm, yep. Yes, exactly. Yep. And if you push him right now, it's going to be the same thing all over again, and I'm not going to let that happen to him. Because I can't stand that look in your eye. You know, that condescending him. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is treating him like, I'm better than you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Of what I do. It was a conscious choice. I didn't fuck up. And you and your crony. Oh. Case. You and your kiss ass chorus following you around going to the Fields Medal, the Fields Medal. Oh, okay. It's a failure. <laughs> it's about my medal, is it? Oh, God, I can go home again. Oh, okay. I'm realizing that Robin Williams' character is like Will. Because I don't give a shit about your medal because I knew you before. And then Skarsgård's character is like the thing that Will hates, you know, or despises. Smarter than me then, and you're smarter than me now, so don't blame me for how your life turned out. It's not my fault. I don't blame you. It's not about you, you mathematical dick. It's about the boy. He's a good kid, and I won't see you fuck. He's a good kid. Fuck up me right now. I good will hunting. I can feel like a failure too. He won't be a failure, Sean. But, but if you push him, Jerry, if you Sean, ride him. I am what I am today because I was pushed and because I learned to push myself. He's not you. You guess that? <laughs> They walk, he heard everything. No, come in. That was just leave. <laughs> that was a heated debate of him arguing over his future. Wow. This, mo this movie is about life, man. This movie is about life. In life, you can like do something artsy that's, that has to do with like helping people. You can do something that's like a 9 to 5 in the office. You know, some people think that the artsy one is beneficial because it helps you live life more. The other one is more money-oriented and you are fully exploiting your potential. I've had this conversation even with, my, with like my mom. It's not your fault. Don't fuck with me, all right? Don't fuck with me, Sean. Not you. It's not your fault. My Damon's acting is just top tier for this. <laughs> These two are just like the perfect duo. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Give that man an Oscar for his winning, for his acting. You see the way he's riding the train alone? That's like the symbolism of the way he moves through life, alone. Hmm? Never letting anyone get close to him. Never really getting to know anyone long enough to bond with them properly like his girlfriend. Hmm? Very powerful movie, very powerful movie. This movie is like trying to make you reflect on how you go through life, how you search for love, how you find the meaning in life. <laughs> powerful movie, powerful movie. It is finally like the uh, patient doctor relationship. Nah, only if you grab my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I love it really, helps. I miss his, his funniness. Aww. Good 
luck, son. It's the ugliest fucking car I've ever seen. <laughs> True. <laughs> but, uh, but, but at least it's something. It's, at least it's something. To get the parts and... Uh, oh, okay. Morgan was out panhandling for change every day. <laughs> I had the road to do all the body work. Yeah, I have a fucking job too, brother. You guys been up my ass for two years about a job. I had a He finally gets what he wanted. To come to his door one day, knock and find he's just gone. <laughs> that was foreshadowing, eh? One day, I hope I just come to your door and find you've left and you've gone to better places. If the professor calls about that job, just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. Will. Son of a bitch. He stole my life. Oh. Oh. I wish you'd have actually showed us him talking to that chick. Is it like a post credit scene or something? I'm just. Oh no. It just, go, it just shows him driving off. Oh. Oh. Wish there was like a. Is that like a Goodwill Hunting too? That was a good movie. That was a good movie. That is a movie I think everyone should watch. It starts with Will being the kind of guy who won't open up to anyone and not letting anyone get close to him and then, you know, making fun of like therapy and then making a mockery of, of, of therapists who are trying to help him to ending up having a therapist as one of his closest friends and you know, opening up to people and changing his life and uh, quite the character transformation in the arc. Anyway, if you enjoyed my reaction, make sure to smash like and subscribe. If you watched this movie, tell me what you thought about it. I thought it was quite, 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 quite a reflective movie. Yeah? Uh, they don't make movies like this anymore. Most movies need a bunch of action to keep you engaged, but this one just, it's, it's talking about life. And the philosophies of life, yeah. Uh, Alright, full reaction will be on Patreon. If you'd like to request a movie, I'll leave the link for Patreon. Becoming a Patreon will, can, will allow you to dictate which movie I see next, and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.